So what I'm doing is trying to get the wiring harness finalized, get everything placed where I want it, how I want the wires ran. So first I need to decide on exactly where I was gonna, I want this. First, I was gonna do it over here in the corner. I built a little bracket, as the video showed. Um, so I'm gonna do it here, but I didn't want all this cluttered up with wires. So I figured since all the wires over there, hoses over here, Let's keep that same thing. And so the EGR stuff was back here behind the battery. So the battery is somewhere like about right here. So we have this space back here. But in order for me to um, get it to fit, as this, this thing sits like this, right, I needed to trim off. Let me get in the shade a little bit so I can show you. So I needed to trim off this edge here, leave the the place where it bolts, trim off all this up here, trim it back, cut, leave that spot where the bolt is. Um, see if that's enough room because it I I wanted it to let me show you here. Is I didn't want the, the computer to cover the hole right here, access to the wires to the headlight. So I'm gonna try to put it right here, this way or this way, like this, but along with the kind of the, the wheel well there, um, or fit it like that like so so i'm going to stick that back in and i'm going to see what kind of orientation can i put that in all right so i figure like this over just a little bit's going to be fine and i still got enough space for there um so these wires that are running through here what i'm thinking is is cutting this part out here and letting it run down and under because there's space under here let it run down and under and leave this space clear leave all this clear this space here clear for um, the PCM wiring and everything else can come through back here through here I'll cut this out come down and under and around and that should help or at least down and under through, through through this way but either way go through there leave this space as much open as we possibly can because you still got to fit the wiring right and so it'll leave space see if those wires were missing they were gone wired routed different then i mean i can even go back down back down here and under if I wanted to route those back this way and under if I wanted to so I do have some options so it'll keep it here the battery ends here so there'd be enough room for me to be able to stick my hand in service it test wires whatnot and then a lot of the wiring will come we're gonna keep it it's all tangled and stuff now but see this is the factory body you know Stuff that goes into the engine bay. Um, we'll keep it running here. We'll run it along up the top. And then down into the engine. Or up, down, and across the harness. So, um, good. So, you can keep your own battery tray and the whole setup. You know, even how to modify it to fit that in the video. This will stay the same. You're just going to have to run all the wiring. That's going to go to, like, everything on this side. Like, windshield washer pumps. Um, i burn myself. Um, external auxiliary water pump for the heater core. AC temp. So those types of things like that. I mean, I can even run, I can even run everything that goes into the front of this, of the engine. 
see all the sensors you got the oil temp pressure coolant coolant temp my uh, radiator sw uh, switch temp VVT we can even run all that and then the uh, knock sensors under the crank sensor we can run all that along the frame and follow this down so it disappears down here instead of coming up through here and then we can just keep all this clean just with these wires here injectors and ignition or we can run them up and under you know this way less heat all right so i don't know if you guys can see it in here or not so there's a computer all right so we've got c1 c2 c3 c4 is the transmission plug which fits tight really on on this I mean, I could adjust it. I can adjust it like another fourth, maybe. But it's fine. We're not using this plug anyway. It's a transmission plug. So all we care about is these headlight wires. And then all the other wires we ran through here somewhere and under the battery tray. So I'll have to wire that. But that's how it's fit. And the, the black brace that it sits on is, is when you had your um, computer over here with the 5.9 or your regular RAM, I'm sorry, regular Durango or Dakota, it was over here and it was bolted to a bracket, right? So that is the same thing. It is, um, I, I use that same bracket, customize the holes and just The little tabs on the end of the bracket i'll use that to bolt to the to the um scratched all my paint so i have to touch it all up see that bolt there there's a little self self tappers that they use and the other one i use the same thing and um what i did with this is that bracket behind so i put a bolt from behind and i tapped this out with a um, six by 100 tap. Um, I didn't have to drill, I didn't drill the hole, I just tapped it out. And then I used like a, like a low profile um, Torx bit. That was a six by 100, six by 100 thread. Cause the tap was a six by 100 thread. And um, bolted it on from the back so that, um, it was a low profile head and um yeah so we had this so my plan is is for vibration is i'm gonna put rubber grommets between the bracket and the body bracket and the body i'm gonna put rubber grommet between the computer and the bracket so that we don't get a lot of vibration but look at that mess this is all old durango stuff that I may or may not need. I haven't took it out yet. And this is all Durango meets Hemi. That connector goes to Hemi harness. So now I have to figure out how to run <laughs> all those wires under here, through there, and around the engine. Fun. Okay, <clears throat> so now that I've deconstructed the whole wiring harness, <coughs> So pretty much what I did is I just separated everything from the PCM. Um, and I'm kind of run off, just put wires, run wires in between the PCM and, um, and you know, injector, sensor, stuff like that. So if High Performance Academy gave a pretty cool idea to use like rope, that's kind of, you know, this thick or something like that. To run your wire mock-up and how you want it to run through the, the engine bay so what I'm doing is now is running my injectors so right so I'm kind of running these the wire is going to come the loom is going to come through here it's going to go behind and under the 
fuel rail bridge here. Um, and then if you see that hole right there, it's gonna go through that hole. Well, first it'll, it'll, uh, all the harness is gonna go through this hole here, which is here. And then it's gonna come through. Then it'll, I don't know if you guys can see that. But there's another hole that goes through the fender here. And it's gonna go right in through this hole right there. So it'll go through the fender in the back like that and around. That's the plan because right here, got the ABS and there's that big harness that goes into the um, that goes into the cab. That thing is thick and there's just not a lot of room right here without having wires everywhere. So I'm gonna go run up top and then down through that hole, come through the fender and then out the fender here. And then down here, all the wires that need to go to the other side we're gonna come here, down, and then follow the the lower cross, the lower front cross member, um, or radiator radiator support cross member, um, and then that'll come up through here. But I'm using the rope, okay? And I did move the computer because it was in the in the way of the fuse box so like when you take it out you know you'll have this right here and then what we do is we'll lay it down lay it out and then we'll we're in our connectors so the end of this is the end of the connector not the end of the wire so this will be the end of the connector because that's where it's going in there and then here's where i'll support the harness so the plan is is i want to run all my injectors separate in their own loom, protected. Um, ignition coils in their own loom, protected. Um, all the sensors, um, the five volt reference sensors will all be ran in one loom to itself. Um, and then oxygen sensors will have its own route and then I'll tie in the alternator through this harness here, through down here, or I can go down and use it with the sensor since that technically is a sensor and then the power cable. The power stuff I haven't even ran. I'm going to run one knot cables. Um, so I haven't figured that part out yet, but just get it all wired and then at this, this too is my plan is is all right through here I'm gonna have connector a separate connector for um, what's I gonna say a quick kind of release injector harness ignition coil harness sensor harness and I have I went to the junkyard and got a bunch of these multiple pins I'll choose which one's gonna fit best and, and that's how I will um, connect it so when running it through the fender you don't have to feed the whole harness through there you could just unplug it unplug them and then you can just feed it through there. And the holes are pretty, they're big squares. You know, they're big squares through the holes, if you can see how, I don't know if you can see back there. See how like they're big squares back there? So plenty of plugs will be able to fit in there and out of there. Um, so everything will disconnect here. That goes to the PCM. And that is the plan. You know, and I'll get rid of this probably because it's big and bulky because you're only using a few and then I'll just make I'll just use one of the smaller plugs and then you just label the plugs injectors you know coils 
um, sensors, whatnot. And you just keep track. What pins and all that crap. So that is the goal. A lot of these wires are from the Durango. So I don't know what. I'll just have to cut them back and under. Get it underneath here. And then get all that. This part here will go under, under into the, to there. But I'll make a, a connector also. Anyway, that's kind of the plan. I'm gonna use this rope, map out every, every single, first I'm gonna do the fuel injectors, then I'll do the coils, then I'll do the sensors, then I'll do those body. This, uh, I forgot, 230C, 230 connector or whatever it's called, and then I'll do that, which has all the communication lines. Um, yeah, so there you go.